All right, we're back in Transistor. Let's go. We've spent far too much time in here. We've I've wasted way too much time here. So let's actually get back, back to, to the real. Yeah, back to reality. The real game of Transistor. Okay, back, on track. back on track. We are back on track. Uh, hold on one one second. Yep, just wanted to confirm the two achievements. All we have left to do is just complete a recursion and reach level 24, which... Wait. Oh. So I I thought... I think people said that 30 is max level, but I guess 24 is all you need for achievements. So we should be pretty close to that. I don't remember what level I am, but... Yeah, should be pretty close, but... I, I'm Honestly, I'm probably just for the sake of it, gonna keep playing until I have one extra copy of all the functions, just so we can test stuff and whatever, so I guess that might take into, uh, all the way into the next recursion again, I don't know. But I, th that could also be kind of interesting, just to see, like, what is the next recursion? Does more stuff change on subsequent New Game Pluses, or is it just the same thing again? I don't know. Oh god, uh, wh what's happening? What am I doing here? What do I have? Hold on, I should enter turn. Uh, okay, I have this stuff? I mean, that seems good enough? Oh, it, yeah, you see. Yeah, I was doing, the, like, double void test, which I definitely don't want. That was just kind of for the sake of testing it. It's not awful, but definitely not worth using, I think. But, yeah, okay, we can, oh, we can just start using this. Not good? What's not good? I think this is fine. So let's just group these up. Yeah, this should be good. And then we do that. And then they all just die. But then we need to take care of the cells. Right, yeah, that's that's the last thing we did. Holy crap. I couldn't even remember. Like, that was the last thing we did. This awkward combo with, like, having to use two different voids and ping with load on it to pop cells. Yeah. Oh, corrupted cell. Get out of our town. Yeah, not bad. And we have all 10 on, right? No, I do not. I turned that off, so we had 24. That's fine. So 24, does that mean I... Wait, what do I not have on then? Is it just memory, which was like 8%? Or was, there... was that only 4 and then I have another one? Like responsibility, or... I can't remember what I, uh, what I turned off. But here we go. Access point. Now we can see. And we don't need to do anything else. Alright, so. What do we have? So, limiters. Yeah, I have permanent. Permanence! That's what it's called. Responsibility is the memory one. Sorry, I, I messed that up last time. So, permanence was the one you can use in performance tests, and it's fine. It'll still say, uh, overload when you, like, click something here instead of remove install. But it just doesn't. It's fine. But yeah, so I guess we'll keep going with this. I'm honestly tempted to remove the shield thing, but... I'll keep it. It's probably fine for the most part. But yeah, this can just go. Let's ignore that. And honestly, I am very tempted to get some dogs back in here. For old time's sake. And... Maybe I will try that thing I mentioned. So let's remove this so we get a mask. And I'm kind of tempted to do like dog with mask and either spark or load on it. I don't know if I want one dog that does a big AoE or two dogs that do like more DPS, basically. And the two dogs would hopefully stay alive. I guess that's the thing. Like one dog would be more reliable to stay alive because if one dog, if I have two dogs, and one dog kills a haircut, that dog will be fine, but the other dog will blow up. So, I guess we'll try load. We'll do that. Like, it's not stun dog, but I'm taking care of the stun, so maybe this will be fine. And then... What else do we want to do with that? Just a jaunt? Oh, how much do I have? I only have two more points. Damn, I need two more points. Because... I keep seeing people mention that, like, spark and purge on jaunt combo. Like, oh my god, it's so good, you shoot out, like, 20 billion purge particles, purge projectiles. 
so what? They all go to one dude and does nothing, but maybe not. Maybe that actually is good, so I kind of want to test that. So, if I want to test that, what would we do? I would have to unequip, like, bounds or something? Or... Or tap on this one? Yeah, maybe I can do without the healing. I mean, it. I, I would like the healing, but just to test this out, I guess we can remove that. So then I'll actually put this here and then do spark and purge here. And we have two more points. So... We could just do spark on this then. A second spark. Because then it's like a shotgun. Like, flak cannon, basically, just for taking out shields. That's kind of a cool idea. Like, not really for damage? I like that. Like, this thing? Holy shit. That's, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. It might even be a good damage tool. Like, doing this a couple times, and then just blasting into them with load. Huh. And yeah, then we have this, which just shoots off so many of these, but is it gonna be good? I don't know, but now we have four very interesting combinations at least, and they might be good. Head on in. I will. Coast is clear. So as soon as I see anything happen, I'm just gonna spam two. Just like mash it as soon as I can to get our dogs back up. Or uh, up. So it's true. Don't really care. Alright. I guess I should interact with all those, just in case it starts a, uh, a fight. I don't know, do you have to do, like, the full thing? Probably not, right? Red, let's go. While we still can. Yeah, that didn't do anything, but I think I should at least, like, interact with them and then back out to maybe get some, uh, some ambushes and stuff happening. Wait, didn't we already do this part? Step right up. Yeah. Get us out of here. So there we go. Now we have dogs going. And then we can do this. That's pretty pretty cool. Ow. Something's killing me. Is my dog alive? My dogs? Yeah. My dog is fine. Let's try and group up all these. And let's use this. So, what's happening with this? I'm dying, that's what's happening. Yeah, no, fuck that. Fuck that. That's not worth it. I really want my dog. Let's summon my dog. I have cover here. Oh my god. Ping around. Oh, I'm so close to dying. Go, dog, go, dog, go. No, 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 not the bad cells. Dog is still fine. Dog is confused. I don't know what dog is doing. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. That was close. My mistake there was using jaunt. I don't think it's a good combo, but I'm gonna give it another chance. Let's, let's see. Cause yeah, like, yeah, it looks cool, but I just don't think it does anything, like, actually to enemies that's useful. I think the spark and load on it is, is more useful. That was actually, like, carrying me for a while, because it's so many damage in instances that, like, overlap. So you end up doing a lot more damage. So now the spine starts happening, right? Should be able to get up through here. And, I mean, I guess we just keep going. I don't really want to change anything up. Unless I want, like, proper stun dog back. But, I kind of like the idea of having this mask one that can theoretically survive, uh... What's it called? Uh, haircuts. But maybe I should try out the... Uh, the spark one? Oh, but I, I'm using two sparks. Okay, so, so let's keep using load for now until I determine that this is trash, and then I'll remove spark, and we'll put spark on the dog. Just to test that out, like two stealthy barking dogs, just to see how that works. 
Maybe in the uh, the test I did, I even had like help with Spark and Void on it. I can't remember. I just remember they did like a shitload of damage and just killed everything for me while I just did this over and over. Yeah, here's the gondola. Have we already? Wait. Hope this works. This isn't the one where you get attacked by the the spine, right? No, this is just like Next a time, normal ambush, Hi, right? So I'm spamming too. Get ready to summon. Something's wrong. Get ready. Yeah. The dog seems quite confused. I don't know what's happening. Beautiful. Why it's like sometimes just not doing anything. Well, that worked. Yeah, I guess the dog is a little unreliable. Ooh, and there we go. That's level 24. And now we get switch, bounds, flood, or purge. Hmm. I guess like flood would be the most interesting one. Because otherwise, I, I don't know. All of these are kind of interesting. I think this is probably the least interesting because I imagine it's just like you split off into multiple smaller, like f fragmental particles, like a cluster bomb kind of thing that bounces between targets, maybe. But switch on switch sounds interesting. Flood on flood sounds interesting, though not very useful. Purge on purge also sounds interesting if it just like makes the poison effect even, even better, but that means you have to use a, a main purge, which is kind of useless. It kind of doesn't really matter. Let's do flood. Flood on flood. I probably won't test until I've leveled up a couple more times Almost to have there. more to do. You can't move these, no. We have to be in an access point to do that. Welcome to high rise. Thanks, guy. Welcome home. Thanks, guy. So I need to test this more, still. So, uh, let's, let's just swap these around, because it was a little awkward tapping, like, one and then tapping four. Actually, I mean, I guess I should have this here. Like, this kind of thing instead is better, because I'm not going to need to summon that often. Yeah, let's just do that for now and just keep going. Here's the spine, right? gonna try doing this just see what happens as far as I can tell we're not getting any uh, purges that go to like not the same target right they're all just going to the same target as far as I can see let's summon my dog so let's just do this again because that's way better Yep. Okay. I think I can conclude that Jaunt with Spark and Perch on it is not good. It looks flashy, it looks like it does stuff, but it does not do stuff. So, let's just remove that. I probably still want a Jaunt, just for the sake of it. But maybe just like Jaunt and, and Get or something? Oh, I can't do that without removing it. Let's just remove this for now, and yeah, we'll try Double Dog instead. So remove Load here, and let's get Spark on. Spark and Mask. So two, two dogs. Let's just check in, like, what that actually does. So they have 200% life and 200% backstab damage, which might happen just occasionally if the enemies are focused on me, so they do double damage. And Stealth on Target, target Elimination, which should mean... Uh, invulnerability and then we get two friends but their damage is reduced by 25% but that should still be fine that should still be a lot of damage so we have that and now what do we do I mean alternatively I could remove spark from this one it's not really like 
necessary to have it if I want to do like jaunt spark load but is that really that useful I kind of need to test more jaunt stuff like jaunt with flood can we do anything with that like flood and load to get a bigger AoE or spark and flood does that mean the the spark particles will flood as well I actually really want to test that I haven't been testing out some of these like combos thoroughly enough could just do tap on it and then if only I had access to one more get yeah I don't have any other one cost things or switch 2.5 seconds I mean, that could actually be kind of useful in a pinch. Should we do that? Just in case I need a panic button. And then that plus... Load? Oh, that's an interesting idea. Does that mean I can AoE uh, switch people? Can, can the load explosion at the end of Jaunt... Switch people. Oh, it's not even... It's it's behind you. Yeah, that, that's weird. Like, certain interactions makes it... It shifts it or changes it. So, like, if we remove switch, it's at the end of it. Yeah. Whoa. What? Why is it so much bigger, too? Huh? It's, like, really small now. And then if we put on switch, it's massive. What is that about? Huh? Well, that's an interesting interaction found. Alright, if that's a massive, like, everything in this AoE will be switched to me, that could be a really useful, like, panic button just to have. Jesus. Oh, and here's my apartment. Might as well stop in. Yeah, might as well. Why not? Best view in town. It's strange coming here. Not really any point, but like this. again, might as well. Junction Jans delivered. Hooray. Supremo Deluxe. Loaded for bear. Loaded for bear. Flatbread delivery still coming strong. What does that even mean? Does the Not actual so flatbread cold. change? Not that I know anymore. Help I, yourself, I'm good. I would have to check that. Like, does the pizza or flatbread itself change Lock depending on what you what you pick? Because that would be good if it's not just the uh, the dialogue. All right. Don't think we need to read this. So the word is out. The word is out. Can't even see the canals. And this. Yeah, here we go. All right. Here oh, comes the spine. Red. Uh, Summon dog. To lose you. Is dog already dead? I think dog just instantly imploded because they didn't get to bark at anything. So let's do this. And let's see. Oh, I think it does. Yeah. Everything in the AoE gets switched. Okay, that is actually really strong. It's for a short duration. It's 2.5 seconds, but still. I like that. That is a really good combo. Weird that he even does that. Like, why would it? Like, load... Sure, it increases the, uh... The AoE of stuff. But, I mean, we've already... Ow. We've already increased the AoE. Oh, boy. I'm a little overwhelmed. And, yeah, I am missing having a, uh healing tool. Ow. Alright, we're good. And the dogs did survive. At least one of them, like, after the first one. So it's not bad. Starting to lose you? Oh, I, I have not been paying attention to those, like, little little taglines or whatever. If they're, like, names for each battle you have. Yeah, that's, like, an entire aspect I have not been paying attention to. Wait, what is this? 
Have we checked this? We on your roof? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think I checked this. But yeah, what a weird combo. Switch for some reason double dips on, on load and makes load's explosion on John to twice the size that it normally should be for no reason. Like, it doesn't say that, right? No, I guess effect radius 300. Wait, and then if we remove load? It still says effect radius 300. What does that even mean, effect radius 300? Hold on, no, no, no. Uh, let's just put it on here. Yeah, effect radius 300. What do you mean by that? That doesn't make any sense. Because it's definitely not effect radius 300, it's just like if you dash right over them, then it works. Right? Or does it actually? I, I guess we'll have to test that in a practice range, but I'm pretty sure that does not have an, a radius like that. But I am liking this so far. Again, I'm maybe missing healing. But to get healing, we would have to have two more points somehow. And that would be like removing bounce. And is that really worth it? Removing bounce to get tap onto here, so we only have three passives? I don't know. Is that worth it? It might be worth testing at least, because I'm I'm believing in mask. Mask is very strong. And I'm kind of just like tempted to experiment a little bit. So we would remove spark, not that one. Remove spark. I wish you could just like take this and drag it off, just like the, the bonus thing. Because sometimes you don't know which one. Like which one of these is the passive? I have no idea. But yeah, let's let's just put tap on here. Because I do think that's a really good healing tool. Still good for popping cells, but maybe not quite as good. I might actually like the spark shotgun blast version better. You know, I never thought much of high rise. Apart from the water. Then I found out. You Holy shit. Well, I guess we might as well touch all the access points just to save. Can't even go for a swim because you're stuck with me. Yeah, no swimming. And we do have the, the back door here, right? Is in here. Yeah, after one more Besides fight. Me, I've seen no one. But when here we I go. To where the sky should be. No? I see you. I thought we had a fight and here. I, I guess know. that's after you come out of the back door. You can hear me. Yeah. Okay. Sure. Wave. All right. Well, I guess in that case we'll just leave it off here. I'm all right. I think that's good. Think also, right. one thing I was thinking that it's a real shame you can't reopen these doors. Like, why would why would that not be a thing that after you're done with all the tests you should just be able to open the door and just select which level you want to go in. And then you could redo all of them. Redo per uh, performance, redo planning, redo speed. Uh, I guess this is planning. Speed, I think. And then uh, stability and agency. Like, I, I don't see a reason not to do that. Obviously, you would not earn experience. That's the reason you wouldn't want to do it. And honestly, maybe that's the reason they didn't allow it, because they didn't want to bother coding not getting experience from these when you do normally? I don't know, but it's a real shame. I really wish you could reopen them so you could have a save file in New Game Plus or New Game Plus Plus and just like play whatever doors you want forever just because it can can be fun, especially performance tests. Performance and agency are like the two interesting ones and fun ones. I don't know about stability. I don't know if stability has some like RNG to it, but I assume speed and planning are like, set. They're definitely just the way that they're supposed to be, but speed could also be kind of fun to do. It's only planning that's like, you figure it out, and then yeah, you figure it out. No point playing it again. But, yeah. Real shame that you can't reopen these, and they never, like, patch the game to, to allow for that. But, oh well. 
like I said, next time we'll probably do some more testing. Or, or will we? I mean, probably. Yeah, we have two new abilities, right? I'll probably dip in for a quick test, which might end up being the entire episode, depending on what happens. Definitely want to test out some jaunt combos and stuff like that as well. So, I guess that was our, uh, our main story fun. Enjoy. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!